is another edition of Smart Chat, and welcome, welcome. I want to do a baseball video for you, New York Yankees today. In case you didn't hear, well, now you heard from me, of course, and I hope your day is going well. Uh, Jorge Posada, his number uh, was retired by the Yankees today, and uh, Andy Pettit will have his day tomorrow. Get some monument jerseys retired. I mean, the Yankees, they have a gazillion numbers retired. You ever wonder why some of these players wear these high numbers, like Dellen Batances wears 68. Jabba Chamberlain wear, wore 62. Phil Hughes wore 65. And the reason being is they retired, seems like, everyone and everyone right now. And I, I do want to give you my thoughts uh, right now on this ceremony with... Jorge Posada today, uh, and uh, Andy Pettit tomorrow. The big four, this is what I think, the big four, along with Jeter, Mole, Whitey, and Yogi, no one else deserves to have their number retired. You should be, at least in my opinion, a Hall of Fame player who spent your entire career with the Yankees to get a retired number. That is, of course, with the uh, exception of the great Babe Ruth. Uh, now, I know some of you saying, well, they did win five World Series each with the Yankees, and they're homegrown as far as Posada and Pettit. Um, you would think that any team would uh, retire the number is for those two reasons, but it's a little bit comical now at this point. Can't put everyone in. I mean, with all due respect to Annie and Jorge, uh, the value and significance of numbers being retired has been greatly diminished by all the marketing behind them being employed by the Yankees themselves, looking for more ways to increase attendance for games that may be seen less than a prime ticket. For example, you know, Cleveland Indians. Are you rushing to see the Cleveland Indians? I mean, you know, the Yankees, they really have bizarre ways. Put that aside. They really have bizarre ways of honoring its players. This is a team that had all the players wearing Jeter patches on the field before the guy even retired. Uh, it's kind of, um, you know, it's kind of uh, silly, in my opinion. Um, you know, if you're old enough, and um, I'm not old enough, I'm um, 34, you know, going on 35, but this player has uh, was playing before my time, but I've seen tapes of him, videos, the Yankeeographies. Um, do you remember the late 70s championship? Nettles was a team captain, and meant more to the Yankees during their uh, during the 70s uh, championships, I think, than Posada did to the um, Yankees championship. That Posada won uh, with yet Nettles is not recognized. Um, why is that? Yankees would not have won in 77 and 78 uh, without Nettles, but could have easily won in the 90s. Posada was despised by many of his pitchers. Some say he was a grump, a complainer, and not a good guy with the press. Not to mention taking himself out of the lineup when he didn't get his way. Andy, I'm on the fence about, you know, between the two. The competitor he was in the postseason is one for the ages. Um, not happy about the HDH, but I think, you know, it inflated his numbers. Actually, I don't think it inflated his numbers as far as the HDH. He came clean, was humbled by it, and apologized. Something A-Rod should have done a long time ago. But, you know, just my thoughts on Posada and Pettit's numbers being retired. It's too much. 
little bit too much. Until next time.